Hello everybody. Today we're going to take a look at a Dunlap number 4D BB smoothing plane, same size as Stanley number 4. When I dug this old plane out of the pile, she had a lot of surface rust but good bones. And I don't care how cheap the planes are, which Dunlap is considered to be not collectible, I spend the same amount of time working on this one as I would a, a rare Stanley. Because I think every old tool deserves a second chance. The wood on them, uh, the locker was all checkered, cracked. I have a technique I use to go right over top of it and bring them back to look like new. And I'd say those look pretty darn good. You can still see the original tooling marks on the machine surfaces. So overall it's an excellent looking plane. This plane was made by Miller's Falls and the difference between it and the regular Miller's Falls is it doesn't have the frog adjustment screw that you would see underneath the depth adjuster right there. Not a big deal. Frog's easy to adjust. This one's set right where it needs to be. But you do have a lateral which is a good thing to have. A couple days ago I did a video with a panel raising plane. That thing's about 150 plus years old. This is the back side of the panel and it, it had a slight cup to it. So to, to do the test drive of this old Dunlap plane, we're going to take the cup or the dish out of the back side of this panel. Before tackling this, you want to make sure that you've set your iron so you're only taking off about a thousandths or maybe 15 thousand or 1.5 thousandths of an inch. I'm going to work diagonal because if you've got a cup going this way, you're not going to take it out by going with the grain. So I'm going to start at one side, work across. A lot of times you'll, you'll nick the corners off when you sharpen your iron so you don't leave, leave a groove. But uh, this turns out pretty good just like it is because the iron set properly. I'm working from front to back. See the old Dunlop for being a cheap old plane did a really nice job. I'm getting shavings all the way across, so that tells me now I can go with the grain and finish it up. When I start going with the grain, I can hear it skipping across high spots. starting to get shavings all the way across. That looks pretty good. And instead of sanding this, Finish it up with a scraper. You can see the stuff piling up on there. That feels like glass. That's beautiful. So an old 1950s era Dunlop plane, a uh, nice wide panel. That's from a single piece of poplar. I think that's about uh, 14 inches wide. It smoothed it up really nice. I mean the proof is right there. And there is a look down the grain. 
So this old plane and the scraper sitting next to it took a board that was, was cupped, trued it up, and when it's done it's as smooth as glass without any sandpaper. So I made a lot of raised panel doors over the years and uh, the most recent ones I made out of rough cut lumber, sent them through my planer, it was poplar, and then glued up some of the panels that weren't wide enough of what I had. And when I went to take the plane to uh, plane the panels, panels down where the glue up was, I saw just how poor of a job the planer actually did. Taking the plane across the flat surface of the raised panel, it was skipping over the high points that the, the electric planer left. So then I ended up being a perfectionist. I took my hand planer and I hit the top of every panel that I did. And, uh, that way I knew that they were perfect. So if you've ever done it or if you haven't done it, give it a try. Take whatever you've got out of your planer and run your plane over the top of it and see what happens. Or if you're just trying to chew something up, you see you can do it with a regular hand plane. Even a cheap one like this old Dunlap that's going to go on eBay here in July. So if you want a good plane for a decent price, don't be afraid to buy some of these uh, off name that Stanley and, and companies like um, Miller's Falls, there we go, total brain fart. This was made by Miller's Falls, Sargent, they all, they all made them for other companies. So getting long winded, it's uh, time to look at the pile, see what's next, time for supper, bye.